This is Kat with Bita Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a personalized necklace using a circular donut stamping blank and waxed cotton cord. Now, this is a very simple project, and this is something that is really fun and easy to modify. So I have here on my table my example. Now, I've done a little heart stamping, which is what we're gonna do today, and I filled that in with the Impress Art Stamp Enamel, so I'll show you how to do that step as well. But to complete this project, here's what you'll need. You'll need your stamping donut ring right here. And then I have two crimp ends with loops, two four millimeter 20 gauge jump rings. I have my magnetic clasp and my one millimeter cotton cord. And then you'll need whichever impress art stampings that you wanna to use today. I'm gonna to be using that little three millimeter heart. But if you want, you could also use various letters or various other shapes. You just want to make sure that whatever stamping you're using fits in the size of the donut stamping blank that you have. I have my Impress Art hammer, my bench block with my steel plate and my rubber backing. And then for other tools, we're just going to be using a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of crimping pliers, a pair of scissors, a ruler, and you're also going to need a paper towel for this as well. So that is all the supplies, so let's go ahead and get started. So I wanna start by doing our stamping first. So I'm gonna take my little blank here, and when you have a blank, depending on the shape and size, you might notice that there's a side that has a little lip and a side that is a little bit smoother. I tend to think of the side that is a little bit smoother as the front, however, some people sort of you know choose whichever side they like, but I'm gonna use that smooth side as my front. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that onto my table. And you can tell by looking at the end which side you're gonna want your little heart on. So usually the Impress Art stamping here is going to be facing you, but just always double check the direction of your particular stamping. So very simply, what we're gonna do is I'm going to place my little heart right where I want it. Take my hammer and give it one good whack. And there's my little heart. Now mine wasn't quite as centered as I wanted it to be, but I think it'll look just fine. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna set my tools aside. And now, before I fill it in, I'm going to set it down on to a little paper towel here. I'm actually gonna take my, my little paper towel here and just kind of rip it in half. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and set that down. And now I'm going to take my Impress Art Stamp Enamel and just remove the cap very carefully. And now all you're gonna do is use that tip and just sort of fill it in. You can see that it comes out like a really thick little ink. And all you wanna do is just cover your stamping there and let it sit for about 10 seconds or so. And now you're gonna take the other half of your paper towel and just wipe it clean. And now take a clean part of the towel and just make sure that you've gotten it off. There we go. So now our stamping shows up and it's nice and bright and shiny. So we are ready to move on to the next step. So now take your ruler and you're gonna take your cotton cord and for as long as you want your necklace, go ahead and measure that length. I'm gonna do about a 16 inch necklace. So I'm gonna get 16 inches of my cord here. Take my scissors and just snip that off. Now you can set your ruler and your cord aside. So I have my length of about 16 inches here. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is match up those two ends String that down. And now we're gonna tie a lark's head knot over our little donut here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your donut and place it onto the little loop just like so. And now pull that loop through, pull your two ends through, and now you're just gonna pull down and you're gonna get that little lark's head knot. 
So this is one way to do it. If you want your front side to look like this, you'll just simply reverse it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. It's very much the same technique, just with your donut facing the opposite direction. So it's just a preference on look as to how you want it to come out in the end. So again, just loop it through and pull it down. And now my front, I like it this way. It looks just really nice and clean. So now all you're gonna do is separate your two sides here. And you're gonna take one of your crimpers and just slide it on to that one millimeter cord there. And now take your crimping plier and simply set it in there in that very first notch. Oops. Make sure your crimpers are facing the right way. <laughs> You're gonna set it into that first notch and make sure that cord is pushed nice and far back. You're not gonna push it through that end, so make sure it's really nice and tight. So you make your first crimp, and now you have your little V cut. So now you're gonna move it to the second notch there, twist it, and crimp it one more time to give it a nice, strong attachment. And now we're just gonna simply repeat that with the other side, so I'll show you really quickly. String on your crimp. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. Whoops. <laughs> and make sure it doesn't fall off. There we go, nice and tight. I think my fingers are sticky. <laughs> Must be from the ink. All right, so now I just slide it in there. And again, just go ahead and crimp. Lift it out, turn it, and crimp one more time. And you're all set there. So now the last part of this is we're gonna take our chain nose pliers and our jump ring here. And the Zuron 4-in-1 crimping pliers also work as chain nose pliers, so I'm gonna use those to help open my jump ring. Slide that onto one of the loops and slide on one side of my magnetic clasp and it'll nicely attach to my pliers there. Simply close up that jump ring and now we're gonna repeat on the other side. Open up that jump ring, slide it onto your loop and slide on the other side of the clasp there we go. Close that up. <laughs> Remove your pliers from your magnetic clasp. And you're all done. That's how quick and simple and easy this little project is. If you want to get really fun and do some more stampings, I definitely encourage that. Instead of the Impress Art stamp enamel, you can also use Vintage Patinas if you want to add a little bit of color there. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this technique. You can add two strands and create a little bracelet that's really nice and fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get all of these supplies and find more videos at betaholik.com.